Hey everyone, it's Tyler Stork from Tennis with Tyler, and today we're going to go over a huge tip that's going to help you get to so many more volleys. A lot of players, what they do is they move side to side on their volleys, and then they end up not being able to get to the ball, or they end up missing in the net. Once again, a lot of players, they go out, they try to hit their forehand volley over here, they go back, they try to hit their backhand volley, and they keep on getting past. They feel like a deer in the headlights. They don't like their volleys. Then they come to me, they take a lesson. What do I do? I tell them this one tip and then they love being at the net. They feel like a whole new player. And what is that? You have to make sure instead of moving side to side, you need to move into a V. Once again, instead of moving this way and this way where normal players do, you want to make sure that you move this way or you move this way. Again, I'm going to, if I have a ball in the middle, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to move up to the middle. If I have a ball to the left here, we got to watch. I'm going to move up to the left. I want to literally move in a V. I'm either going to move here or here. I'm not going to move side to side anymore. Why? Because the quickest way to two points is what? Is by cutting the angle. So by cutting the angle, you're going to be able to get much faster. Also, now your momentum's going to go forward. You're going to be able to cover many more balls because you're getting to them earlier. And then the second thing is now, instead of going out, my momentum's to the side, and then I'm going to net or miss the ball. Now I can go forward into the ball so I can hit it much more effectively. Again, here we are, so I'm moving up. Watch, I move forward into my shot. Now my momentum's forward. Now what does that mean? Since my momentum's forward, now I can get two way more balls. So a great drill to do that I do with a lot of my players is you'll start here, and what do you wanna do? You always wanna be moving forward. So you're gonna be here, you're gonna go forehand, here we are, you're gonna do backhand, and then you're going to do closing volley. Again, if you have a forehand, backhand, forehand, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to move out here, then I'm going to move out here, then I'm going to move out here. Okay, that's gonna teach me to what? Move up, move forward to it, cut the angle, right? Here we are, backhand, and then forehand. I want you to watch me do this one more time, and I want you to see what I'm doing with my outside leg. So, just to clarify, if I'm going out to the forehand, you're gonna watch what I'm doing with this leg, when I go back in, you're going to watch me what I do with this leg. Ready? Here we are. Forehand. Backhand. Forehand. Did you see that? What did I do? What did I do right there? I exaggerated it, but I loaded on my outside leg. You want to make sure that you use your outside leg to push off and catapult you into the shot. A lot of players, <coughs> what they do, as they go, they go here, they go here, they go here. It's not explosive. You want to bounce off of your outside leg. Watch, here we are once again. Forehand, here we are, watch. I'm exploding. So watch, I split, I'm loading on my outside leg, and then boom, I'm going off to it. Here we are, loading on my outside leg, and boom, I'm going off to it. You guys see that? You want to load before you explode. So instead of just going out to the ball, number one, going aside, we don't do that anymore. But now instead of just stepping forward, forward, Tyler told me moving a V. No, you're going to load on the outside leg and then go for it. You're going to load on the outside leg and then go for it. I want you to think for your backhand now, if you're a right-handed player, instead of just stepping with your right foot, you're going to load on your left leg and then you're going to explode on your right leg. Instead of just stepping with your right foot for your forehand, like this, left foot with a forehand, you're going to load on your outside leg, and then you're going to explode forward onto your front leg. If you can do that and utilize that, you're gonna be so much better off while you're playing tennis. Now, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure, again, you move in a V. You'll get much more consistency. Have a good one, happy hitting, and I'll see you guys next time on court.